Five masking techniques in CapCut that you probably didn't know about. Let's jump right in. Level one, removing objects. Let's say you wanna remove an object from a scene. Here's how you do it. Right click on your video and hit duplicate. Adjust the duplicate video to fit the frame. Head over to basic. Mask and choose a mask shape, like a circle or whatever suits your object. Adjust the mask over your object. Next, move the mask to cover only the water. Hit done, and then drag the mask over the object you wanna hide. Go back to the mask settings and increase the feather slightly, but not too much, or the object will start to show. And here's the result. Like magic, the object is gone. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's take it up a notch. Level two, mask tracking. This time, we're hiding a car's license plate. Follow these steps. Add a blur effect from the effects tab and adjust its length to match your video. Next, export the video. Then, delete the effect and export the original video. Add both exported clips to the timeline and use the blurred version as an overlay. Select the overlay, go to basic. Mask and choose a rectangle. Position the mask over the license plate and adjust its size. Add keyframes to the mask's position and size. Move the playhead a few frames. Adjust the mask again. And repeat until the license plate is completely hidden throughout the video. And there you have it. The license plate is gone. All right, let's keep building those skills with something a little more advanced. Level three, advanced mask tracking. Here, we'll add text that follows an object or a person. Go to text, then add a text layer. Go to basic and write your text. Choose a font. I'm using Fervent and add effects like stroke or shadow if you want. I'll use a black stroke for this example. Resize and position the text where you like. Go to motion tracking. Place the plus sign on the object or person you want to track. And adjust the text position to your liking by moving the text closer or further from your object or person. Hit start and let CapCut do its thing. Once it's done, make sure the text layer matches the video length and you're good to go. The text will now follow the object perfectly. Impressed yet? Wait till you see the next trick. Level four, text behind objects. This one's a bit tricky, but so worth it. Select your clip and go to basic. Scale the video to 115% and move it slightly to the right. Add a keyframe to the position. Move the playhead 16 frames forward and drag the video to the left. Go to text, add a text layer. Go to basic, write your text and style it however you like. Change the font, add a shadow or a stroke. Resize the text and drag it to the right side. Adjust the text length to match the video. Go to animations, in animation and select slide right. Duplicate the main video by right clicking on the video and hit duplicate. Go to basic mask and choose a horizontal mask. Rotate it to about minus 90 degrees and position it near the object. Increase the feather to one and hit done. And that's it. The text now appears to move behind the object. Ready for the final level. Level five, blending. Here's how to create a stunning blend effect. Add your main video to the timeline and drag in a sky background as an overlay. Adjust its length to match the video. Go to basic, mask and choose the horizontal mask. Adjust the sky video to your liking. Go back to mask. Increase the feather slightly and adjust the mask until the sky blends in. And tweak the colors of your main video to match the new sky. And voila! a seamless blended scene with a new sky. And there you have it, five levels of masking techniques in CapCut. From removing objects to advanced motion tracking, you're now ready to take your videos to the next level. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which level you're trying out first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.